Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Elden Ring video. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can unlock your first mount. And a very, I would say, super useful uh, spell is to summon the wolves. Because I decided to combine these two because they are sort of connected. And uh, yeah, so let's not waste some time. Jump right into the video. Alright, so before I jump into my uh, test character and show you how this is all done, uh, first you will need to unlock your mount, right? So uh, in order to do that, you will need to um, find Melina. Uh, to what I know, you will need to come to this grace right here, uh, or where's the map? This one right here. I think it doesn't really matter, but uh, we'll do the test together. So once you've uh, found one of the graces, you essentially speak to it, Melina pops up, she gives you a mount, afterwards you will need to navigate back to uh, the church of Ella, and over there during the night you will find another person, because uh, as many of you already know there is a merchant over there available, uh, but you should find another person sitting there as an NPC, so you will need to speak with the NPC and uh, the NPC will give you uh, the wolves. So let me go ahead and jump to my test character. Alright, so right now I'm on my test character, which is uh, fresh, I just wanted to say fresh out of the wall, <laughs> Fallout 76. Basically, uh, this is the fresh character, and there we go, we've got the merchant that I was talking about, and the location is right here. Uh, in order to open the map, you will need to find, uh, you need to go to this obelisk right here, so once you uh, open it, you will have the map unlocked. But at the moment, uh, you all probably know by now that all the graces they kind of like navigate you by this spark light where you have to go so in our case we're gonna have to run uh, that way in order to uh, find another grace and uh, uh, find Melina so once we find Melina she will give us a mount to where uh, afterwards we can come back to the church from where we're running right now and oh, I actually want to do this from where uh, basically we will get uh, the wolves and the wolves are really nice so much. give us bolts give her the day as well War is actually pretty cool, I actually started as my main as a thief I'm actually uh, testing a few things out uh, oh no these bats yeah, during the night you get these annoying bats and they're pretty, I mean, they're, they're not that difficult to take care of, but they're still pain in the butt. <laughs> so there we go, there is our grace right now, we're running right to it. <clears throat> and now, if we speak to it, we should be unlocking to Melina. So there we go. And now in order for her to appear, we need to interact with the grace. We get the cutscene, right? We could skip this, or let's keep it as is. So there she comes, she's appearing, and basically chit chat goes on. So I'm just gonna skip the scene. Uh, so there she is, Have you heard of and now we gotta talk region. with her. Hey, sir, so you, you just talk, clay turning to right? Eight. You need to the foot, then it settle. Summon me. Ah, I bequeath. There you go. She gives you the uh, the. S Spectral Steed Whistle. I do apologize if I mispronounce something. I am from Ukraine, so sometimes I mispronounce stuff. So have that in mind. Use it. It will summon. All right. So we've got it. the mount. Now what we need to do is go to the equipment. Well, I've actually selected my mount right into this corner right here, and you will need to select this ring right from where you can switch and call out your mount. Now since this is the night, we can go ahead and go back to the place where we come from in order to unlock the wolves. The wolves, as I said, they are pretty strong and uh, they are good as decoys. So basically, you can sneak up on the enemy from behind and smash them. Like I had a lot of issues with one of the uh, guards over there with a big shield and a big lance. I mean, I was dodging him and doing whatever I can, but he, he kind of like still st steps out from the backstabs and is, uh, was a real pain to go 1v1 with that dude. Uh, especially with my dagger. So we come back to the church. Let's interact with this thing. 
I think we need to make it uh, nightfall. I guess not nightfall. <laughs> uh, past time. Wait until now. Morning. Ugh, caramba. All right, there we go. I found her finally. So what I did, what I did in order to make this work is, uh, I rested in grace, right? Uh, waited until uh, nightfall, and then I fast traveled. So what I did is I just fast traveled to this location and fast traveled all the way back and there you go this NPC has appeared so afterwards you talk to this NPC right here right make sure to keep talking to NPCs because I have also uh, there you go you get the spirit calling bell right so that's the bell that's the lone, uh, lone wolf ashes that's what I was talking about and uh, you will be able to summon uh, aid but have in mind you cannot summon them wherever you like so as an example let's select this spell right here right that's in order to actually make it work as you can see I cannot do any summoning right now so you will need to wait until you get an image that image right there as you can see next to the sprinting lash sort of like a gate with some signs on the left side corner right uh, above my weapons and stuff like that so only then you can summon uh, your wolves right so for example if I exit the area right now that sign disappears and the summoning is not possible to do right so you, it won't work but as soon as you do it uh, you can trigger it so there you go there you go we got help there there are our wolfies and as I said you can use them as decoy for example if you tr let's just picture that this guy is strong right uh, he's not <laughs> The wolves they get into action, start fighting, and he will trigger on them. And what you can do is just go from behind and do, uh, well, it didn't work. Anyway, you get the point, right? <laughs> and by the way, one more thing as soon as the wolves are summoned, right, uh, if you leave the area, they should disappear as well. Well, they used to disappear for me. There you go. It's blinking, it's blinking, it's blinking, it's blinking, blinking, blinking. Why aren't you disappearing? Well, they used to disappear. I don't know what's going on. There you go. <laughs> so that's in case if you leave the area. Essentially, you will need uh, the blue bar. I call it mana. <laughs> in order to summon the wolves. And that's it. That's uh, pretty much. I hope this uh, helped you out. Because I honestly, uh, when I started, I didn't have a lot of time to play. Because there's war in Ukraine. And uh, I've missed that part. And uh, now I know of it, and it, it really helps with uh, a lot stronger units. So, that's uh, pretty much it, Z-Clan. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity, as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to it. So, if you got something to say, feel free to comment. The only thing I ask of you is not to swear. Once again, I'm Gamer Z-Soul from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine. Now, most of you already know that there is a war going on in Ukraine, so if you want to help, I will leave an official uh, link to donation to the Ukrainian army. At the moment, I'm trying to find sources, uh, not just for military, but uh, funds, but to uh, find humanitarian as well. Uh, but first, I need to find, you know, uh, there are a lot of fake funds as well, so I'll keep you guys updated. So if you have the ability to help, uh, use the links that I've shared with you. It's uh, directly to the needed funds. At the moment, I'm fine. Yesterday, as I've commented in the uh, community post, I managed to evacuate uh, my wife and son. So they've reached out. They're in Lviv now. Everything is fine. Uh, they're now looking for the options through uh, all the volunteers. Volunteers, thank you so much for helping out uh, to pass the border. And from there, they will go to uh, another country where some family friends uh, offered us help and uh, I'm just waiting until they get there. <laughs> anyway, Z Clan and everybody else, thanks all for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>